Are you ready for a trashy video? Hey, welcome back to Old Iron Acres. I'm gonna make my trashiest video yet. Everyone comes to the farm and they've got garbage in their car. My kids make plenty of trash and uh, you're always looking for a quick place to put it. But out on the farm, it's a little hard to do. There's so much space. So I like to make it good and easy by putting a few trash cans around the property. And I've got a favorite. This trash can is made by Ketter, and I just think they look fantastic. Nothing too exciting to see, but does the job great. Keeps the animals out, keeps the trash in, and makes it convenient to throw stuff away. I love my trash can, but it's got one problem. And that is when you go to take the trash bag out right here, when you lift this up, it catches down in here. And I've got a solution for that. And this perfect fix makes this the most fantastic trash can for my property. I like a couple of them around, always to have a place to throw something. Hey there, so welcome back to my very small business. I'm in the office here, our warehouse, and I just bought another one of these trash cans. And as you can tell, I've already put it together. They come flat pack, they assemble in about five minutes or so. I usually wait for these to go on a great sale. In this particular case, I picked one up used. As their condition isn't too important to me on the farm, and I can't tell, it looks brand new. If you can save a few bucks, why not? So, I wanna show you what's going on. When you open the lid here, you lift that tab, and this point right here is where it rips the bag. So when you fill your trash can and it pushes the bag out all the way to these sidewalls, then as the trash pulls up with the bag, it catches right here at this point. And on that lip and on these screws, and they tear the bag as you're lifting it out. So the trick that I've found is adding some aluminum foil tape. Have you ever used this product? I'm kind of new to it. It's a thick foil tape with an adhesive on it. And what I do is I take this and cover up all of those seams. Uh, this makes it kind of a smooth ramp to get out and the bag just doesn't have those sharp edges anymore to rip and tear, which means the trash stays in the bag. Sounds pretty good to me. So here we go. I'm gonna close the lid and open the second compartment, which is the bag catch around this edge here. And now I'm just gonna take this tape and I'm gonna kinda roughly measure out how much I need. One, two, three, four, and I'll go out a little bit. Next, I'm gonna give it a nice clean cut edge rather than tearing it. It will tear though. And then put my roll down. All right, so this here has the adhesive on the back and I'm gonna start to peel it. And then I'm gonna just pick a middle point here. And you don't have to be super accurate because it's on the inside. I try to be straight, but you, the aluminum foil is flexible, so you can kind of correct yourself, raise your angle if you want, etc. But let's get it into the corner. Then cover the next bolts. There it goes. Into the next corner. Cover the next bolts. To the next corner. Cover some more bolts. Into the last and final corner. Overlap, but that's fine. It'll never be seen. And then smushing it flat. It's flexible, bends, seals, is weatherproof. And uh, I now have beautiful corners with no sharp edges.
I haven't really done this with my other ones, but I'm just gonna go into this corner here with a, its own piece of tape and uh, just reinforce that a little bit. This takes like five minutes, but it would take at least five minutes to pick up one exploded trash bag that you tear. I think this is a minor flaw in this awesome trash can. Once this is done, they're just so easy to use, look nice, and people have a great place to put their garbage. Including me. And that's it. And the difference is amazing. Other things that I really love about this trash can are you can paint this. It's, it claims to be paintable, but our colors on the property are in the gray field, so it works just fine as is. This uh, rough texture, it's like wood, and supposedly it takes paint really well. And another great benefit of it is because it's all plastic, it won't rust or rot. If I had to say any negatives about this can though, would be that this is very close to this, which is how you get the bag in and out. I wish that the bag ring was a little uh, different in its mechanism to open. I also wish that they would have a hole back here to tuck extra bag as you wrap around, but it's not terrible. If you've never used aluminum foil tape, uh, sometimes they refer to it, I think, as HVAC duct tape because it seals up the seams. Uh, you're in for a cool experience. If you've never used it before, it's kind of like thick aluminum foil with adhesive on the back. So since I'm kind of new to this tape too, and there isn't any other places that I really have used this much, what other places do you use it? I'd love to learn. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what else it's good for. I'm sure I'll find other uses for it around the property. So once I've put that tape on, the bags come out smooth, like they should. So these trash cans are just great for me on my property. I think that makes this the perfect trash can. So what do you do with your trash? Let me know. If you have any other tips for improvements around the property, I'd love to hear them. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for putting up with this trashy video. See you around soon. No more ripped bags.